Today's daily dose of math is about drawing an obtuse angle. But to do that, first we have to know what an obtuse angle is. An obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees, but it is less than 180 degrees. Let's draw one. I'm going to start by drawing a line on my page, and I can put it anywhere on the page and have it pointing in any direction I want. Then I'm going to move my protractor onto that line so that the zero dot of the protractor, which is right here, is on one end of the line. And the line itself is lying on the baseline of the protractor, which is down here. Now I have to count up from zero to draw another line at the right degrees. Let's start by drawing a 143 degree angle. I have to count up to 143 degrees using these numbers on the edge of the protractor. But notice there are two sets of numbers. I'm counting up from zero, so I'm using the inside set of numbers. I count all the way past 90 to 143, which is right about here. And I draw a line from the zero dot of the protractor through that 143 degree measure. like this. Now I have a 143 degree angle. I can move my protractor out of the way and I can label my angle. I write 143 degrees inside the angle and I draw an arc. That's a pretty messy arc, but it'll have to do for now. Let's draw another obtuse angle. Let's draw one that's 164 degrees. First, I need a line to start with. I'm going to put it here. And I move my protractor onto it. But this time, I'm going to draw the angle from the end of the line on the right side instead of the left side. To do that, I again count from zero with these numbers, but this time I'm using the outer set of numbers. When you draw an angle on the left side of your protractor, you'll use the outer set to count up from zero and on the right side of your protractor, you'll use the inner set of numbers. That's why there are two sets of numbers on the protractor. From the zero dot, I draw a line that goes through 164 degrees, which is right about here. I move my protractor out of the way and I label my angle. Yes, that arc is pretty messy too. Okay, let's draw one more. This time, I'll draw an angle of 105 degrees. I put my line on my page, and I position the protractor so that the zero dot is on one end of the line, and then counting up from zero, I'm counting up to 105 degrees, which is right about here. I draw a line, from the zero dot through 105 degrees on the protractor. I move the protractor out of the way and I label my angle. Oh, the arc is not that bad this time. So this is how we draw an obtuse angle, an angle in between 90 and 180 degrees. And that is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe and share.